Hello. Hello. So um, you might notice my background is slightly different and that is because I have moved out. So I have moved into a house with some of my friends <clears throat> and I obviously have a new room and um, I'm only here for a few months so that explains my new background because I'm in a new room and I'm just still trying to figure out what the best part of the room is. It's like four o'clock and it's not dark but it's getting kind of dark so I really wanted to film this today so um, I just did my hair and makeup like I didn't actually even do my hair I just took it out of a bun and I just put my makeup on really really quickly in like five minutes so that's why I might look a bit dishevelled. So yeah today I've got a haul for you yay! Stuff I picked up in February and a little bit of January but mostly in the last few weeks and yeah oh before I start the haul I just want to say hello to a girl called Sarah. I was out um at a nightclub like a week ago and she came up to me and she was like I watch your YouTube channel and I was just like what no way this is so weird um, it's the first time it's ever happened to me it happened to me at electric picnic during the summer but this is like I just found this so weird and she was so lovely and she was an absolute babe so Sarah if you're watching hi you're a ride okay so I'm just gonna get straight into the haul and I'm gonna start off with some top shop stuff if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me put a post where I was wearing a trench coat and I was like, I don't know whether to buy this or not because it was 120 euro and anyway, I bought it. <laughs> so it's going to be hard to show you because it is super long, but it is just like a really um, classic style trench coat. I'll insert the picture of me on Instagram here somewhere so you can see it fully on. Um, and it's just black and it has buttons at the front like so it has um a, a, the tie thing so you can tie it at your waist and it's super long it goes down to like um a good bit below the shins and then it has the classic um trench style back you can see that there um and as i said it's just really long really really classic yes it was 120 euro which i think is very expensive but I think you pay that for coats and this is something I don't think is ever going to go out of fashion and it's, it's very light but it is surprisingly warm so that's good and has cute little um, bow detailing on the sleeves and they also have this in like a beigey colour but I definitely prefer the black and this is something when you wear like heeled boots with it and stuff I think it just looks absolutely amazing so yes that is that and it does button up all the way up the top and it has, it has nice details and um, the buttons on the shoulders as well which I like and yeah I'm just really really happy with this thing because it's just really really classic and dressy looking so yeah that was lovely next thing I got from Topshop was this blouse. This is another thing I was eyeing up for a while. Um, it's just a plain white blouse. Um, it's slightly, um, I don't know what you'd say that on. It's slightly like naturally crinkly. I don't know if you can see the details, but it's definitely like naturally kind of has like lines on it um so it's not like a crisp crisp white shirt um and it has the pocket of the front it's just really really slouchy and it goes down at the back um hold on let me see if you can see it there yeah it goes up at the front like a sh it's shorter at the front than it is at the back basically um and it has the slits at the side as well this is just really really nice and easy to wear with like jeans or whatever and it's a little bit sheer so if you wear a coloured bra I think it looks nice as well and this was um this is a size 10 and I think this was um oh god 52 euro maybe either 52 or 48 I'm not sure um but I think you know this is again is something that I don't mind paying that for this because it's something that I'm definitely going to continue wearing so yeah happy with that I've only got one thing from Zara to show you and this is something that I've they always have it's like in, in constant stock there um, and it's just this plain grey jumper as you can see here it's very soft it's so so soft and it has a little zip at the back um, I basically they have these in like black baby pink navy white grey obviously um, a range of colours and I always see them and I think they're 22 euro and I always see them but never buy them and this time I just said okay just buy it because this is just so handy with blue jeans black jeans whatever it may be and as I said it's really soft and really comfy and really well priced because it feels like really good quality so yeah that is Zara and it just has the usual round neck I got this in a medium and it is like tight um so they're not oversized they're meant to be like fitted and I said it's 22 euro I think and that's I think really good because it does feel like really good quality so I moved to a place called Dunleary and basically there's a Primark in Dunleary and it's like a small one so it doesn't have all the, the best stuff but it's kind of dangerous that I now live in walking distance from a Primark. But um, so I went down there today and wasn't planning to get anything and I got a few things. So I got the jumper that I'm wearing here. As you can see it's just like a woolly 
jumper and it's very oversized and has a high neck and also has a hole in it which is annoying and I didn't notice at the time when I bought it and I've taken off the tag so that's kind of annoying but I'll just have to sew that. This was reduced from 14 to 7 so that was a good deal and it is really comfy and easy to wear and I love black jumpers and I just love jumpers in general. Um, so yeah this was 7 euro, good deal. I also got a few rings, I got um, midi rings um, these basically are, if you don't know what they are, they're just the rings that go above the knuckle, like this. Can you focus please? No, it doesn't want to focus, but you get the gist. It's above the knuckle ring, not that hard to understand. These are 150 and, I mean, you get a weird one that has like a moon with diamantes on it, which I'm not 100% keen on, but you know, the other ones are nice. The 150, like, who the heck cares? I also got these, um, I don't know what you'd call these, like tube rings. Um, but they had one in the middle and it just snapped in half I tried to open it so that wasn't great. This was three euro. Oh, my pet peeve in life is like rings that, you know, you can't try on properly because they have the plastic thing inside. Like they should just have like the standard, this is what a medium is and you can properly try it on. It's just so annoying because I don't even know if these fit me anywhere now and blah, it's annoying but these are three euro. Hopefully they'll fit me on one of my fingers. I also got necklaces and earrings pack. Oh, hold on, look, 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 look. focus. So this necklace is just a plain gold bar and this one is a little triangle and then two tiny little gold studs. Um, this was three euro as well. I just think the necklaces are so cute and dainty and I'm sure they'll tarnish and will be horrible in like a week but whatever. I also got um, a sports bra. Not very exciting but this is what it looks like. It is um, grey as you can see. It has padding in it which is amazing for flat chested gals like me. You know when we're working out we need to feel like we've got a bit of bounce going on and like I definitely don't even need a sports bra because you know they're meant, to they're meant for people who need support which isn't me. But anyway I like to pretend I do so this is great and actually gives you like cleavage which is amazing. This was five euro. Um, yeah like I'd never go anywhere else to buy a sports bra. Like Sports bras are so expensive, like Nike ones could be like 30 euro, which is disgusting. So yeah, Primark for your sports bras, good to go. Again from Primark, I got this um, running jacket. Um, it's just plain black and it doesn't have a hood or anything. It just zips up here. And basically I started running um, in like January and I actually did my first race there, the Operation Transformation 5K run that was in Phoenix Park last week. And that was my first ever and I wore this and my new sports bra, it was great. Um, so yeah, this was like 13 euro I think. I know they're a really good deal because it is perfect. Like it is um, light but keeps you warm and waterproof at the same time. So I would definitely check that out. Like buy this stuff. If you're, if you're just starting out running or anything, definitely just go to Penny's and get your fill of um, the cheaper wear because I think the Nike stuff, yeah, it's good, but like it's just so, so overpriced. So I like this and it keeps me dry and it is comfortable and it is lovely. Another sports related item is this, oh, it's inside out, of course, why would anything be the right way around in my life? Okay, so it is this uh, running top, um, well it's not a running top, it's a sports top, it's just cotton and on the back it has this nice um, detailing so when your sports bra is coming out it looks real pretty. And I actually got this in TK Maxx and this was I believe 10 euro and it's by the brand Avia and it's just really really comfy and nice and I like it. So my next purchases were from Benetton, which is actually so weird, I'd never think of going in there. But my mom was like, they have an amazing sale, they have all these jumpers, um, half price and everything, and I love my jumpers. So I went in, and she was right, they did have loads of lovely things on sale in Benetton. So I got this cardigan, it is um, really slouchy, this is a size extra small, I think. Um, ah, bah. No. um oh God, static hair now, that's what I get for being a messer. Um, so yeah, it is so soft, so light, and it's this lovely grey colour. I need cardigans because I, I only have like two, I think. Um, and yeah, it doesn't. Ha it has like those little um, pockets. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, I'm not showing this very well. But it's just basically a slouchy, kind of like old man cardigan and has like the grey buttons down it. And this was reduced from like 60 euro to 15 and it's 100% wool. So like, that's absolutely amazing. Like... That's just such a good price and it's really soft and really warm and light all at the same time. From all of the things I got in Benetton were like wool and yes, these are inside out. No surprise there. I got these leggings. Now, okay, you see there's 100% wool leggings and they have like an, a tighter bit at the bottom so they don't, they're not loose, which I love because I hate loose trousers. And yeah, so just grey and they have like an elasticated waist 
and um, pockets. So look, I'm not sure if these are meant for outdoor wear or pajamas, but I just wear them around the house and I said they're 100% wool. These were also reduced from like 50 to 15. And the problem is these are size extra small and they're still huge, like all around the stomach and waist and thighs area. Basically they're all huge all over. Um, so I don't know if that's just cause they're wool, so they stretch. But um, anyway, it doesn't matter because I just wear them around the house. So it doesn't matter that they're kind of baggy on top. But yeah, they're just so comfortable and amazing. So yeah, if you're in Benetton around Stevens Green, um, definitely go in and check out. They have loads of all this um, woolly stuff half price. So that's great. And the last thing I got from Benetton was this polo neck. I do be loving my polo necks these days. I'm just all about them. Um, it's funny because years ago, I'd absolutely never wear a polo neck. Like I thought they were disgusting. And now I'm all about the polo necks. Um, I don't have any red ones. I've seen to have a lot of black polo necks. So I went for this. Again, 100% wool. This was reduced to 15 as well from, I don't know what price, I can't remember, but like 60 euro, let's say, roundish. And as you can see, it's just bright red and it's a polo neck. So it's not much to to dull there. I got this, I think, um, as small as all they had left. So it's a bit like, not tight, but it's just not as loose as I would like from my, if anyone knows me, you know I love my um, loose tops. Uh, I think this, yeah, I think it's a small, but anyway, um, that's all they had left in this. So I'm really happy with that because I don't know anything this colour. I do realise it's kind of festive looking, but meh, it's all right. Oh, the colour's gone all weird. Um, so like all those things combined came to like 45 euro or something ridiculous. Um, so it's really good for all those woolly things. I don't know why the lighting have gone more blue toned. I'm sorry about that. Something completely non-fashion related to show you. And it's actually this, um, it's called you grill tooth powder and um, the woman who does my nails um she was doing my shellac the other day she recommended i was just talking about teeth whitening i've never done teeth whitening or anything but i was kind of interested in it and she recommended this stuff for me this is basically um okay if you're not from ireland i don't know if you have it there but it's called from a shop called deals d-e-a-l-z so good cool. and everything in there is 149 and this tooth powder is 149 and apparently it makes your teeth really white after the first time you use it and it's like you only use it you're only allowed to use it twice a week or you should use it twice a week and it's like a, you just put it on your toothpaste like a powder and then you put water on so i haven't tried this yet but i'll definitely let you know how i get on if any of you are interested in it again i'm not sure about how good this is for your teeth um if you can only use it twice a week i can't imagine it's great but i'm going to bring it with me to my dentist next time i go and ask him um so yeah i just think that's if this is good and it was only 149 then that's absolute bargain and I'll let you know how I got on. I bought this Feminax. This is like a lifesaver for me. This probably would be way too much information for some of you but ugh, I don't really care. Basically um, I was on the pill for a long time and then now I've changed to an IUD. Um, they're like the copper one and let's just say one of the side effects is um, painful you know what. Um, painful time of the month and this has like been my saviour. I know this isn't a favourites video but it's a haul video and you know what. Feminax. Thank you. It actually says on this that like you can get addicted to this, so be careful. So I'll be careful, I won't get addicted. Let me know if Feminax is the best thing for you for your time of the month problems, um, because I'd like your opinions. If there's other things that you like, I've heard Ponston is very, very good. Um, and I used that right after I got my coil fitted. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Um, but I think it's prescription, isn't it? So anyway, let me know if there's other you know, relievers, pain relief that you use for that because I'd actually be really interested in knowing. Let's help each other out, girls. So yeah, let me know, guys. And that is it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please subscribe if you haven't and please like this video, leave me comments below, I don't know, tell me things and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is just at Roisin Thora. And if you want like a room tour or a house tour of my new place, I can do that. Just let me know. Leave me a comment below. I will see you very soon. Bye.